I summon Fee! Oh, I like the icon right there, but nevertheless, what an awesome way to start off Fi Giant Lock, episode number 8 of the Fless. So, being that it's episode number 8 of the Scarlet Giant's Giant Lock, we're going to be heading out for chapter 8, known as Troll Home Security Castle in this episode, nevertheless. So, are we ready to go? Of course, we're ready to go, nevertheless. So, let's do such things. For the Scarlet Giant's Giant Lock. We're playing it on Scarlet Giants because it's literally the name of a game. Anyway, nevertheless, nice voice crack right there to start off with, but this is Ignite the Fire. What do you expect from a channel called Ignite the Fire, Crash the Scars? <laughs> yeah, sorry, that ain't quite happening right there, but hey, thanks for watching this video, uh, nevertheless, by Ignite the Fire, to say the least. And why do I like saying my name so much? I shouldn't be saying my name so much, and yet I say it uh, so much, nevertheless. It's time to get into this uh, video, um, or this episode, even. Without further ado, even though I've been doing plenty of ado over um, in this situation right here. And it seems like these people have plenty of cannons. Yep, they definitely have enough right uh, enough right for them. I'm going to turn the point right here. The there we go, that's much better than ever for less. The thing is, is that I'm currently playing with Wii Remote Nunchuck because you kind of have to for Wii version of this, thing, this game. So I currently have the um, Nunchuck hanging around the back of my neck with my controllers like near where my chest is and then I'm playing with that so it's kind of almost like you know how you get those snakes that hang over the back of your shoulders and then come down towards your uh, pectorals yeah that's basically how I'm playing with this right now except for the fact I have controllers on each end it's actually quite an interesting way to play it's actually really nice and relaxing one as well because the thing is is that this way I can hold my controllers closer to my face and I don't know why but I always find that position more helpful I can even do a boxing stance Kind of like a, uh, you would do in Wii Sports, even though the thing with Wii Sports is that I'm too tall, so the sensor bar never ever picks up my movements because the motion is always above the sensor bar, which always means that I always wind up losing such things. And people are like, You shouldn't lose, you do boxing, why are you losing? Oh, wait, hold on, my helmet. And I'm like, I'm losing because the sensor bar is not picking me up because I'm too damn tall. And it's not fair enough for us. It's the same uh, thing with just ants, I should say. Yeah, what, what a cool way for me to play, never for us. Boom, take that, sucker. I forgot this was actually meant to be a challenge for a moment then. Uh, wait, what we're going to do with this bomb? We're going to do absolutely nothing with it because we don't need no bombs. We can just smash this gate open. Oh, it's been smashed right. Ooh, a new hat. Let's see what we can get from it. It's a flipping sombrero. Are we going to wear it? Because, uh, yes, of course. Why are we going to wear it? Because it's a flipping sombrero, as I mentioned previously. I'm sorry, uh, Cowboy Trix. It was awesome, but sombrero Trix is even better. Me gusto this, me gusto this indeed, and I don't even know if this is Spanish, that's how bad I am at Spanish. The only thing I remember in Spanish is gusto, because that sounds like, and the only reason why I remember gusto is because it sounds just like the um, air trap master from Skylar's Trap Team, gusto. And if we we're going to grab this bomb so we can blow stuff up, so let's build up, without further ado. I blow V up, Chaos Statue. Oh, that went a bit too far. Sometimes I'm too strong for my own good. <laughs> Relates to me, t Rex does, because sometimes I can be too strong for my own good as well. Especially in things like Badminton, because in Badminton I often end up hitting Shilcock too hard and hitting it out of the court. Because that's the thing though, I do a backhand lift, and then I lift it so hard that it goes to the back of the court. But people, uh, or it goes out from the back of the court even. And that's what makes all my friends laugh, because they're, they're saying like, most people can't even do a back, uh, backhand lift, never mind get it out, and then I'm just like, yeah, I'm just that powerful that I can get it out from a backhand lift. And by that, I mean the shuttle, of course. It's often referred to as a short cock in badminton, but I know most people also refer to it as a birdie as well, because they don't like saying the word cock afterwards. But yeah, I refer to it as either, really, because I'm not dirty-minded, and I don't find saying the word cock to be dirty-minded. Anyways, let's say we've got a wing sapphire right here. A wing sapphire does exactly what wing sapphire does. It gives you discounts. How exciting. Why am I playing this like it's 100%? I should not be playing this like it's 100% right now. Let's go. We don't need no Luckatron wheels. Wait, I just realised that Luckatron wheel would have been pretty useful as well, considering it's a Luckatron wheel for power. But never mind about that, I suppose. We have plenty of Luckatron wheels to go around as it is. But yeah, I just find it funny how I can do a skill that most people can't even do, and I can do it so good that it's, um, that, like, I do it so good that, you know, it's, it's a little bit too good, what I'm saying by that. It's a little bit too far, too effective. 
even though most people can't even do it properly, and then I go ahead and not do it only properly, but I do it even more than that. So that's what I find funny about that. Nevertheless, the fact I get the short cock out every single time on a backhand lift. Because trust me, you guys try and do a backhand cliff, uh, backhand lift even, at badminton, from one side of the court and get out on the other. Trust me, it's going to be difficult. Okay, seems like we've got a uh, hot head right here. Have we got any of these thingies to pick up? Oh, yeah. But this thing is an infinite supply, so uh, we're not going to keep picking these up, or else I'll just be doing it for an infinite amount of time, and that'll be a pretty one episode, nevertheless. Just doing that for an infinite amount of time. Okay, seems like we've got a choppy bot right here. Is it going to go down? Of course it's going to go down. What else will we be doing with it, right? Let's try further, I got my motorcycle for that. And there we go, he's down. Is he out? But is he out? Yes he is, he's down and he's out. How glorious to say the least. Good job there, hothead, not even cutting it close. Good job. Now see if you can open his gates. Open his gates, I we shall. All what it requires is the simple little puzzle right here. It is pretty simple, as I mentioned previously. So let's do such simple little things. I'm not good at these puzzles, I've just memorised them at this point, and so that's what makes me good at them, I should say. Even though there is a much more effective way of doing this, but it doesn't matter how effective we are doing it, what matters is that we did it successfully in the end. Did we get a perfect score? Well, we're going to need to find out for that first and foremost, obviously. And an excellent score we didn't get indeed. Not a perfect one, but still an excellent one, one if the Basically, it's the difference between 100% and 95%. Of course, you prefer 100%, but um, having that 95% won't make much of a difference. Haha, <laughs> take that crate. Don't know why I had uh, so much fun in making that crate take that, but I did have fun in it, nevertheless. Earth! That means we got to return to Crusher, nevertheless. Hopefully, he has repaired himself ever since uh, Flynn broke him with his terrible fight skills. It's Crush Hour, indeed. What Crush Hour is it? It's for Crush Hour of the 8th o'clock. Ah, oh, yes, he's he's no longer broken, that's good. Now that's how you do it, guys. You attack them from back here, from behind the wall. Boom, take that, suckers. Okay, let's continue to push these blocks over. Now, there is a feeder strength over there, so unfortunately we're going to have to do it. It's just part of the rules, I suppose. But hey, one thing we can do is we can do this. This part is where it gets really fun. I freeze at feet. Yeah, this guy's still my favourite giant. He's just too slow, but I do like how powerful he is. So I love the power, hate the speed. That's basically what I'm saying right here. I don't mind powerful characters, but powerful characters that are this slow is just... A no go. Other way, time for a feeder strength! Now I need to rotate my remote even though it's right next to my face right now, so we're gonna try and not hit my face. Ow. Yep, I failed at notice my face indeed, in case you couldn't hear by the little click that the Wii, Wii remote made, in case you couldn't hear it, it was basically this. Crusher, jeez, you're supposed to bring the platform over, not, not the camera over. What's this guy like, honestly? There we go, that's better now that I've, cr uh, now that I've cr uh, repaired the camera from Crush's stupid uh, strength. Because clearly having huge strength for video game RAM can knock over the camera in the real world. But hey, that's basically what happened right here. The point is, when I accidentally hit myself, well, I shake the wheel controller for the feet of strength. I accidentally wound up hitting myself and it sounded just like that. You see, Crush did it again, and he didn't even, didn't even do a feat of strength this time. Jeez, this guy is so strong, he's strong when he doesn't even need, mean to be strong. Now that is strength for him, nevertheless. But let's just continue without further ado, before he winds up messing the camera up even more. And by he, I mean Crusher, of course. Nice work. We're gonna need to find something to destroy that cannon. Luckily for us, there just so happens to be something to do that. Gone. I bet a giant could pick up those basically shells. what she said right there, we're going to basically just use a giant to pick up these artillery shells, nevertheless, yeah. and then we can launch it towards that cannon right there. Now I have taken my uh, remote and chuck out of the um, 
headlock grip it was in previous Leaper because it hit me before, before and it hit, so we shouldn't need to worry about it anymore, nothing for less. Because, yeah, in case you guys don't know, we remote stay bloomin' hurt when you hit with him, trust me. How dare had Fee? You guys are so rude. There we go, now he's down, but is he out? Let's find out. There we go, now he's out, never for less. He's down, and he's out. Up high we shall go, and stop and bounce up we shall also do. Oh yeah, that was a little bit of a rhyme, never for less. Not too much of a rhyme, but it's a little bit of a rhyme, to say the least. And dealing with a wheeling, we shall be doing. I like dealing with a wheel. A wheel is a good thing to be dealing with. Much better than, ugh, politics. How dare I mention the P word? It's a crime to mention that P word, so how dare I do such a thing? Now take this, you fool! It's a fool, he has taken it. Ha 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 ha! Okay, there's all that stuff taken down. Why am I making those stupid and noxious wee noises? Because I am, that's why. Because I am and because I can. Yes, we did, because yet again I'm awesome. Another excuse to show up my awesome awesomeness. Thanks for that, Callie. We actually really needed that translation right there. And that's not even being sarcastic. I needed that translation to say the least. So let us continue to get going. The air element, that means we got to bring in Swam right here. So let's do such things, aka, uh, AKA do such things with my favourite giant. These enemies will never see it coming. Okay, so as you can see, that did indeed bring up a teleport. What we're going to do is we're going to throw this at these chompies right here, because why the hell would I know what to do such a thing, right? Whoa! We took that cannon down from a distance. How awesome am I? Very awesome to save at least. We're doing quite take down with chompies, so let's do that as well. Just save us a little bit of hassle once we get over there, that is. Boom, take that, suckers. I don't even get all of them, but do I care that much? Eh, not really, there are any chompies. And we have found the Soul Gem Crusher, or Thor Crusher, I should say, to the police. So are we going to preview him? Yes, because he's part of our squad. Rock sliding out of Crusher. More like rock glitching out, am I right? <laughs> yeah, if that rock ability has lots of glitches behind it, especially in games such as Trap Team. Trap Team. And it's also the one which Flynn broke before. So that's why I'm calling it Rock Slide Glitching It instead from now on. But man, this has been a great episode so far. We've had the might of Crusher, so mighty that he can't even keep his strength to the digital world. He somehow knocked over my camera in the physical world as well. And then we've also had also episodes in the fact of, well, just that really. What a boring episode, that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> oh yeah, and then we've also talked about shuttle cocks, which we're going to get more to no further depth about. <laughs> Even though that reminds me, um, on Friday, as in for Friday I'm recording this, I have a really busy day to do, because basically, uh, for GCC you need to do free sports, so I'm doing swimming, badminton, and, um, I don't even know what I'm doing for my third one at this point, because we're supposed to do one team sport, uh, one, please hit that thing, it did not hit the thing, but no, we're supposed to be doing one team sport, one uh, and one individual sport and then for third and final sport could be a sport of your choice so i'm thinking to do badminton swimming for two individual sports but as for my team sport i have no idea what i'm going to do but the point is there are two things which i'm going to do and on friday i'm being assessed on both of them so um to start off with on friday after school i need to go swimming for about half an hour to do some races to get that all finished up and qualify for and then afterwards i have an hour's badminton afterwards to get qualified uh, to get uh, marked up for that all down however depending on my performance hopefully up in this case but yeah that's basically how friday's gonna go for me assessment after assessment after assessment how exciting that would be oh then set them up then wait w wait hold a minute Callie. no you don't need no explosives i got my swarm for s Boom, you see what I mean? We don't need no explosives. Now that's how you do it, guys. This is why Swarm is my favourite. Look at that, not even any damage. This guy's just that much of a bounce. But don't be hit by these artillery shells, because they tend to hurt. Oh boy, watch out that. But yeah, I do love me some sport. If I'm not playing video games or watching movies, I am doing some sort of sport, whether that's badminton or swimming. 
who are mostly about Hamilton. And I'm just going to do a lot of kickboxing as well, so that's good. I would have done kickboxing with my individual sport, but unfortunately we cannot be assessed on it here in the UK, which is a shame for less. Because I'm a black belt at it, which means I no doubt would have got 100% in kickboxing, so it's a shame that I can't be marked on it, uh, to say the least. Because put it like this, I can hit hard. If I was to hit you, you'd feel it. You'd feel the sting, like with uh, Swarm right here. He has a pretty nasty sting also. Either way, we could go all the way up here to get this bomb to blow up this wall. But we're not going to do that because we're going to use Swarm instead. But first and foremost, let's go shopping. I like the way how in the most intense situations we just decide to go shopping instead. What a great way to spend our time in a Sootsy Soapy Charm. That's going to turn out very useful and the fact it's going to give us additional damage points towards... Um, all trolls and then that's also going to help us out even further on top of that because it's going to give us double damage um, for a limited time which means that we not only deal extra damage against trolls but we double that damage which means we get effectively three times the damage that we got previously so this uh, combat scenario right here is going to be no trouble for us whatsoever I mean like look at this right here 72 damage with one swim you know how nuts that is it's pretty nuts nevertheless oh wow it's the first time I've used this guy's butt sting in a long long time Do you guys seriously think I was going to let you out just that easily? Yeah, take this you fool. Yeah, the best thing about this guy's swarm ability is that you can just go uh, sneak up behind these uh, here uh, inhuman shields and take them down. You see what I mean? Complete and total badass. I think he got hit once right there and that was probably why I chopped you that. That's just how awesome a my boss swarm is. You know, this is why he is a giant vlog, guys. He will be a giant vlog, whether you like it or not. Because Swarm is Swarm, that's why. And not only is Swarm awesome in the gameplay department, but it's also awesome in the pun department because it allows you to swarm your enemies with a swarm. You see what I mean with them puns over the flesh? They're so punny. So yeah, Swarm is absolutely my favourite giant of a giant lock, and I surely hope that you guys consider him being your favourite part of it as well. No lives lost, which is glorious, because it means that no giants were defeated throughout the level, and as we know, if a giant was to be defeated in, uh, in combat, then they'd be considered dead, and I wouldn't be able to use them again, but that happened to no one this episode, so it does not concern us this particular episode, nevertheless. I've way, Crusher has a very serious apology. I am sorry that I'm so strong that I knocked over the camera in the physical world due to my pure strength in the virtual world. I'm very sorry about that and I will not do it again. You better not do it again, dude. You should be ashamed of yourself. Even though it is pretty impressive though that he managed to knock over my camera in the physical world despite the fact he is in the digital world. But hey, they say Skylanders is um, magical for a reason, right? Darn, I just hit myself with a weird controller again. I'm an idiot. Uh, it's all coming back to me now. Uh, I really don't think we need it. Oh, yeah, there's another thing that happened this episode. I also hit myself in the face with a weird remote <laughs> when doing a feed of strength. Of course you don't. That's it. There's the island. Hmm. According to this, to reach the city, we'll need to build an enormous ladder into the sky. And I don't think that's what the map's about, buddy. Basically what he said right now. That's what she said. No, that's not what she said, because Gum Shakes is very much a boy. How dare you insult my Gum Shakes like that? You should be disappointed with yourself, mister, if that was you right now. Besides, that's a dead meme anyway. As I was saying, all we need that is not what you were saying, dude. To tunnel our way down to the buried city. I'll have my minions steal the largest one they can find. Come on, one thing I don't understand is that one of the story scores refers to Jurlax as, uh, to Jurlax as Chaos's yeah. drill. So why would he need to steal Jurlax if Jurlax is already his drill? That part makes no sense, but drills is another one of those things where it's the same word but has different meanings. So you can have a drill as in an exercise, or a drill as in something which digs underneath the ground. And I love words like that, double words with two different meanings in them. But anyway, clearly enough for this episode has been said and done. Thank you, Hemus, that none of our giants were defeated, nevertheless. But uh, this episode is coming to a wrap-up, so as I mentioned previously, thanks so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. But until then, peace!